Hi everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and uh, today I'm going to give you guys a cheat sheet on cancer. Alright, let's say you're at a party or something, or you're out somewhere, or you're on a date or whatever, and someone walks up to you and says they're a cancer. Alright, first, they're probably not going to walk up to you. you got to kind of walk up to them. But um, anyways, you find out you're a cancer. Here we go. First things first. Here's the... Um, what the hell? Okay, first things first. Here are the stats. Cancer is a cardinal water sign. This means they're aggressive. Seriously. Believe it or not, cancer is very aggressive. And they often take the initiative in almost all situations. They're also a water sign. And this makes them super emotional. Now, here's some notes before we continue with the stats. Cancer is aggressive and emotional and they're easy to upset. And I mean like seriously easy. They can get moody just standing there even if you didn't do anything, you know. It's kind of cute and it's definitely going to happen. Next, on the notes here. Cancers, uh, cancers forgive and they, want, and they want to hold on. They're probably the most forgiving yet clingy sign of the zodiac. So even if you do mess up, you know, just say you're sorry and don't do it again. If they don't come back to you, it's because they messed up and they're too afraid to say they're sorry and try again. And this will happen, so, you know, make a mental note of it. All right, back to the stats. In Western astrology, cancer rules the fourth house <laughs> of the zodiac. And that's home, family, and mothering energies. It's also the grounding part of the zodiac. This means, and you should all know this by now, cancers are mothering, right? They're nurturing, supportive, and encouraging, and they want to make sure your foundations are taken care of. The opposite sign of cancer is Capricorn, and where Capricorn wants to make sure of your place in the world, you know, make sure that your place in the world is taken care of, cancer wants all of the home and personal stuff taken care of. So cancers will feed you. They'll make sure you're warm. Uh, they worry about you, and they do it all on a personal level. Next, in the Tarot, Cancer is represented by the Chariot card. And this card represents fast-moving and very powerful energy. You know, the Chariot changed the face of warfare, just like Cancer can be a game-changer if you let them. But, to use a Chariot, you can't ride straight in and fight. You know, obviously, there are horses in the way, right? So to make the best use of this energy, you kind of have to ride up beside your target and attack from there. And this is very much how our cancer moves and operates. You know, they kind of shimmy and shake from side to side, and then I've done it before. They can pinch, and then they kind of drag it away, right? All right, next, cancer is ruled by the moon. This is very emotional, psychic, and constantly changing energy. And because it's the closest celestial object to the Earth, cancers are the most affected by its changing cycles. So again, be ready for mood swings. <laughs> Next, cancer is represented by the symbol of the crab. And this is an animal without a neck or vocal cords. So yeah, cancers can have a difficult time articulating themselves. And they usually do with moody expressions, you know? It's really cute. What do you... Alright, enough, study. Okay. What else? The crab spends half of its time on land and the other half of its time in the water. And this makes cancer the link between the spiritual and divine energy that connects all of us and the physical world that we exist in. Got it? Pisces spends all of their time submerged in the ethereal divine, you know, the divine energy. Scorpio has emerged from the divine and they spread it across the world in eagle form. And Cancer is the go-between. All right, here are the key words. Cancers are quiet, nurturing, assertive. They will 100% jump in if they think you're in trouble. Cancers are nostalgic, definitely clingy. They're fussy, woo, <laughs> and super intuitive. All right, what else? Oh, here we go. Cancers like jokes, all right? They are a very, very fun sign. And although they can be home buddies, they actually like to go out a lot and have fun. And this surprises a lot of people, so heads up. Again, cancer is cardinal energy, so don't bore them to death. Cancers like to do stuff, you know, and they like to have fun. On the downside, cancers are stalkerish, straight up. 
they can also be kleptomaniacs, you know? They're the number one sign, according to the FBI, who get arrested the most, you know, just letting you know. They're manipulative, manipulative, and they use guilt. And they'll do things, you know, cancer will do things behind your back to sabotage you, so, you know, that, and that's a fact, so just deal with. You know, cancers work both in the light and behind it. So, you know, they're super loving, they're awesome, but be careful. All right. Cancers like to have fun with Scorpio. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> okay. They look, to ca they look to Capricorn types for stable relationships, and they find Aquarius sexy, which is not so weird because, well, they are. <laughs> and thus you cheat cheat on Cancer. All you really have to remember is Cancers are psychic, super nurturing, protective, and easily hurt emotionally. If you can swing all of that, you should be super cool with your Cancer. And that's the action. If you like the astrology cheat sheets, please, you know, share with your friends on Facebook. Maybe uh, add it to a YouTube playlist. Maybe give the video a, mm, ooh, <laughs> a thumbs up. And the um, every little bit helps support the channel, and I appreciate all of it. From the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a beautiful week. I super hope you get your cancer. They're, they're the, one of my favorite signs. I love them. I love them so much. And that's it. Uh, Wishing everybody the best of a beautiful week, and I'll see you soon.